NJS bikes are among my favorites ever produced. Made by master craftsmen in Japan that come from a long lineage of master craftsmen, they evoke a sense of history and a deeper appreciation for the art of bike building and cycling. But they come with a few problems for those of us that aren't actually Kirin racers. They have limited tire clearance, they usually only come in smaller sizes, and if by some miracle you find a frame set that doesn't have a huge dent in it, it'll cost you an arm and a kidney. That's where the Soma Rush comes in. A production steel track bike with sprinklings of NJS inspiration, a few touches of modern practicality that you can buy new, in other words, undented, and in your size at a reasonable price. There's just one catch. It's not actually NJS. What's up, I'm Zach Gallardo. Life is short, but don't make it shorter, so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous and subscribe for more fixed gear videos just like this one. This video is made possible by Wabi Cycles. For complete steel bikes that are well under 20 pounds or 9 kilograms, consider checking them out linked at the top of the description. Is a Soma Rush worth your hard earned money? Well, they sent one over, so I can answer that question for you. Let's find out. The Soma Rush is only sold as a frame set, so Soma sent over one that was pretty nicely spec'd. The review will mostly focus on the frame set, but it's near impossible to only review the frame set in a vacuum because we ride bikes, not frame sets. With that said, here are my quick thoughts on the components that they chose and how they might influence my perception of the frame set. Feel free to check out the links to the components linked in the description. The wheels are Araya SA730s laced to Suzu Pro Max hubs and wrapped in 28C Soma Shikoto tires. The wheels were custom built, impeccably tensioned and fast rolling without being overly harsh. For the contact points, the bars are Nitto B802s cut down to 560 millimeters. The bars sweep back, made it comfortable for the wrists and the width gave it enough leverage to make the bike fun to flick around and manhandle. The bars were connected to a Soma Sutro stem, which was surprisingly stiff. While some threaded stems can feel noodly when sprinting, I was perfectly happy with the Soma Sutro's stiffness. The Soma Hisho saddle was unremarkable in a good way, in that I didn't notice it even after a 50 mile ride. The pedals are MKS Sylvans with deep toe clips and Soma leather double straps. This is actually my favorite pedal setup that I've ever tried. The MKS pedals were grippy, the double straps were very comfortable for pulling up and for back pedaling, and the deep toe clips actually fit my hipster leather boots. For the drivetrain, we have IRD Defiant Cranks, which are a 144 BCD track crank set. They were noticeably less stiff than SRAM Omni M Seguino 75s or Andel Cranks, but they were still plenty stiff for street riding. Although they're not as stiff, their classic styling more than makes up for it in the looks department. While the 4618 gearing was a bit low for Flat as a Pancake Sacramento, the IRD Defiant Chainring, combined with the Soma Cog and linked together with an Izumi chain, all ran buttery smooth. The components on this build are really nice, fitting for an equally nice frame set. Here's what my experience has been with the Soma Rush. Straight away, I noticed a lot of attention to detail with the Soma Rush, and it's apparent that a lot of love and care went into designing and producing this bike. There's a perfect balance between beauty and practicality. The first thing you'll notice about the Rush is its impeccable craftsmanship. New for 2019 is this matte purple colorway. While it can be a hassle to keep the finish smudge free, the matte purple is so striking on this classically inspired bike that I immediately fell in love with it. The Rush comes with the cleanest TIG welds I've ever seen on a bike. While lugs would be appreciated, they also would have put the Soma Rush in an entire entirely different price bracket. The TIG welds serve their purpose, keep the price reasonable, and look beautiful in their own right. My favorite part of this frame set is the rear triangle with the pencil tacked seat stays, a nod to NJS bikes. This is what I call drive side bikes that look good in photos online, but the Soma Rush is more of a 360 bike. The S-Bend chain stays look incredible and they invite you to walk around the bike. Those chain stays aren't just for securing fixie points though. They let you fit up to a 32C tire according to Soma. That tire clearance also continues with the fork which can also fit up to a 32C tire. The lugged straight blade fork adds a hint of freshness to this classically inspired frame set. The Rush comes equipped with a single set of bottle bosses on the seat tube. While not fit for a truly traditional track bike, 
They are a welcomed addition since most people are going to be riding the Rush on the street. The Sutro Tower head badge perfectly sums up the vibe of the Soma Rush. Roots in San Francisco that demand useful features wrapped up in a classically inspired Japanese minimal design that helps to take the edge off the utilitarian nature of the frame set. It's the right amount of flash balanced with the right amount of class. These features add up to a beautiful track frame set that can be built up to anything from a track machine Machine, a zippy commuter to a plush distance crusher to a light off-road bike. It's not intended to be that, but you can definitely make it that if your heart desires. As for the ride quality, the Rush is a proper steel track frame set and it rides like one. While a lot of track frames can feel overly stiff and jolting to ride on the street, the Rush balances stiffness with compliance. It flexes in a subtle and predictable way that feels great to sprint on, all while feeling rock steady and buttery smooth. The true track geometry makes the Rush easy to take sharp corners by leaning the bike, and the higher bottom bracket allows allows you to confidently pedal through corners, even with toe clips. As a track bike that is primarily meant to be ridden on the track though, there are better aluminum options that offer a better stiffness to weight ratio. While you can certainly ride it on the track, a more specialized track bike would be better suited. The Rush is better for the street than the track, but that's how most people will ride it anyway. As much as I enjoy this on Rush, it's not perfect. While there's nothing inherently wrong with frame sets from Taiwan, most of the world's high-end and mid-range bikes are made in Taiwan, it does leave something to be desired for the NJS aficionado, like that coveted NJS stamp on the bottom bracket or the aforementioned lugs. But for the financially reasonable rider, or even just the taller rider, the Soma Rush will still mostly fill that NJS-shaped hole in your heart all while being more practical for the street. So, is the Soma Rush worth your hard-earned money? In order to answer that question, we need to take a look at the Soma Rush's competition. The closest competition for the Rush is the All City Big Block. While the Rush is a classically inspired track bike with sprinklings of modern touches, the Big Block is a modern track bike through and through. It really competes with the Rush's cool factor with the faded pink paint job, carved seat collar, and hennepin bridge dropouts. Both are steel track bikes and will ride as such, but whether you're looking for something classic versus something modern should guide your decision. And for a frame that is more street oriented than the Rush is the Wabi Classic. Full disclosure, Wabi sponsors the channel and I ride for them, so take what I say about the Wabi Classic with a grain of skepticism. The Wabi Classic has a more springy and lively ride quality, whereas the Soma Rush has a more solid, smooth, and steady ride quality. The Wabi Classic is more all-in on maximizing the ride quality for the street, while the Soma Rush focuses on being a well-rounded track bike. The Wabi Classic is also more all-in on minimal design, while the Soma Rush has more touches of craftsmanship. The Soma Rush has track geometry and can be ridden on the track, whereas the Wabi Classic you can't ride it on the track. So why would somebody spend their hard-earned money on the Soma Rush over one of the other great steel frame sets at this price? Well, if you like NJS bikes, but you're too reasonable to drop the cash necessary for one that doesn't look like it's been in a pile up on the track, then the Soma Rush may be for you. The Soma Rush's traditionally inspired design will resonate with NJS fans, while the modern touches will make it more practical for the street, and also give some fixie points in its own right. While it's not NJS, the amount of attention to detail that went into producing the Soma Rush makes it feel like you're still riding something really special. The Soma Rush is an NJS bike if NJS was more practical. To sum it up, it's like the James Bond of track bikes. It has a confident, quiet ride quality and a sharp yet well-grounded handling. It's classy and distinct without seeming desperate for attention. And it's a tried and true, reliable frame set that you can always count on to complete the mission. It's the Rush. Soma Rush. Speaking of frame sets that you can always count on, our channel sponsor, Wabi Cycles, is the epitome of what makes cycling fun. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give you the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly with Master Craftsman right here in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that is eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike that you'll love. This amounts to efficient, elegant, and timeless bikes that you can get from a passionate group of fellow cyclists. Wabi's relentless attention to detail results in Wallace, my 58 centimeter Wabi special, weighing in at 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a completely steel 
lugged frame set that has no carbon components. That weight isn't just for quoting and impressing other cyclists though. It results in the best riding experience that I've ever had on a bike with a snappy, responsive, and lively bike that only top shelf steel can bring. That pure fun makes it easy for me to ride Wallace, my Wabi Special, as my only bike as I travel throughout Asia. So if you're looking for the bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, consider checking out Wobby Cycles linked at the top of the description because it really is the closest thing that I've ridden to the perfect bike. Stop watching me right now if you haven't ridden your bike yet today because life is short but don't make it shorter so ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.